Hello everybody. It has been a long time since I made my original video about Stripe, how to set up WeChat Pay, and how to send invoices to parents. And I'm so happy that it has helped a lot of teachers set that up. I have also seen since then a couple times a question has come up about sending an invoice without having the parent email and sending it through a link. Well, a lot of people get the payment link confused with an invoice link. So let me explain those two. So first of all, a payment link. So let me show you where that is. If I go to payments and I go to payment link, a payment link is different than an invoice in that a payment link one, you can only accept credit card payments. You cannot do WeChat Pay. And two, it can be used for multiple people. So I can make a link for whatever amount, let's say $20, and then I can use that same link and I can send it to all of my parents. They all can use the same exact link to pay by credit card. That is different than an invoice. An invoice, so when I go to the same place, payments, but I click on invoices, an invoice has to be specific for each parent. Each parent gets their own specific link or email to pay for the, your services. And also, that's where you have the option for either credit card or WeChat Pay. So there is a way to send just a link for an invoice. And the reason I figured this out was because, well, first of all, another teacher told me, so thank you to that teacher, I can't remember who it was. And then two, one of my parents, when it was time for us to start our tutoring services, she, I asked for her email to set up for the invoices and she told me she just doesn't use her email. She said she doesn't even remember what her password is to get to her email. So she asked if I could just send it through WeChat and I said, yes, I can do that. So I'm going to show you how you can send a link if you don't have the parent's email or if the parent prefers not to use their email for sending or paying for the invoices. So the steps for sending an invoice by email versus the link are pretty much the same. So this is a test, my test mode, since I don't want to reveal any personal information about my parents. So I'm going to show you the steps with my test mode and you can test it out in test mode as well or you could test it out with one of your parents. So I'm going to create a test invoice since I'm in test mode. And just like I would when I'm creating a regular invoice, I'm first going to add my new customer and I'm going to put in a name. I usually just put in my student's name or student's name and mom. I'm just going to write test invoice link as my name. And for the email, I'm just going to leave that blank. And for the language, you can choose if you're it's a Chinese parent, most likely you're going to want Chinese simplified, or you can just keep it English if they're okay with using the English. So then I'm going to save my customer. So notice it's still letting me create an invoice even though I don't have an email. I can always add an email later if I want to, but you don't have to. I'm going to create my items just like I would with my regular invoice. I'm going to add a one-time item and I'm just going to call it test item one and we can make it for $20 and save. I can add a memo if I want, just like with my regular invoice. And then down here, you still have your options for payments. I usually just keep it as WeChat pay only because that's how all of my parents pay and your due date. So now you are complete with creating your invoice. And notice this check right here, send invoice or payment page link manually. Since you don't have an email included, you have to send it manually. I can't choose an email because I didn't include an email for this client. So now I'm going to review my invoice, confirm invoice for $20, confirm invoice. Now you get to the page that you always do when you finish creating your invoice. And you might think, well, how do I send the invoice? I don't see a link. Scroll down and notice here it says payment page and here is the link. If I click on it, 
it's going to show you exactly what the parent gets. So instead of getting it through an email, they just click on the link and it opens just like it does for the email. They have their code to scan and all the information. So I'm gonna exit out of there. So then all I would have to do, right click, copy link address, and then you would go into your WeChat or however you're communicating with your parent, and then you would paste the link for the parent, and then now they can open and pay for your services. Remember, just like with the email invoice, they have to open the QR code, the invoice in one device, and they have to scan it with a separate device. That still stays the same, and but instead of getting it through email, you're just sending them a direct link. So hopefully that helps some people that were confused about the payment link versus an invoice link. And you can send an invoice link without an email. If you have any other questions, let me know. Bye everyone.